Today we're looking at the US M45 50 caliber quad mount on trailer M20, coupled together known as the M55. So the M45 quad mount was introduced into service in 1943 and this was a further improvement of the M33, which is the twin mounted 50 caliber mount made by WL Maxon, also known as the Maxon mount. So in this quad configuration, they were used as an anti-aircraft gun, but it could also be used against ground targets. The M20 trailer was introduced right at the end of World War II, and it is a towed platform, so you can tow it with Jeeps or M16 half-tracks. So in its towed configuration, once it gets to the area that it's required, it can be then placed on the ground, and there's three points where it can be jacked up. So we have one at the front, and we have two at the rear. So you can place a bar in here, and you can actually, using a ratchet system, lift the whole trailer off the ground to give it a stable gun platform. If we start at the front, have this uh, armoured cover here for the gunner, which is about eight millimetres thick. Because these guns are fired electrically, we need a power source. So on the back, we have two six volt batteries that sit in this box here. To its right, which we don't have at the moment, is a Briggs & Stratton 12 volt generator putting at about 300 watts. Essentially about 5.5 horsepower with a 7.5 litre tank. So this generator will charge these batteries in use. Later variants were also known to have a Delco generator out of an M5A1 Stewart. So the business end here is the four M2 50 caliber machine guns. Now individually, one of these guns can put out a rate of fire depending on your source, anywhere between 450 to 600 rounds per minute. So the rate of fire for one gun was considered too low for an anti-aircraft platform. So on the Maxon mount, we had two 50 caliber machine guns, but again, they thought that they needed more firepower. So hence we have the two pairs of 50 caliber machine guns either side. So this will give us a rate of fire anywhere from 1800 to 2400 rounds per minute. To feed these machine guns, we have what's commonly referred to as the Tombstone magazine. This holds 200 rounds, so essentially we have 800 rounds for the whole platform. To load these, we have two loaders, so one will be on the left and one will be on the right. So the gunner sits in this position here, so he has a canvas seat. also has his elevation and azimuth controller. This can rotate 360 degrees and for elevation we can go to negative 10 right up to plus 90. So when we're engaging aircraft, we can uh, shoot out to about 1500 metres. When we're engaging ground targets, we can go out to about 1800 metres. We have the M18 reflex sight. There's three different parts to this sight. We have the mount, siding assembly, and the housing assembly. The housing assembly we can raise up. So what this does is when we're shooting during daytime, it allows diffused light to come through at right angles and allows the gunner to superimpose that gradical onto the target. Because this is a powered sight, we can adjust the illumination for the gradical. We close the housing assembly, and then this will provide illumination to that gradical pattern. That is done by a rear stat, which is on the front, which unfortunately is not uh, on this bit of kit. So when we're not on the M20 trailer, we can go on essentially another modification of the M3 half-track known as the M16. So the M16 essentially didn't have a rear door, but it also had fold down sides. So from about this line here all the way across on both sides and the rear, you can fold those down so the, uh, the quad mount could actually come to its uh, lowest elevation. And it can also be mounted on M35 two and a half ton trucks and M54 five ton trucks. So a highly effective weapons platform with about 2,700 made. It was used by the US, France and Taiwan and was used by US forces right up till the end of the Vietnam War.